Hello everyone, let's learn how to get YouTube working on Windows 98. Not regular Windows, but Windows 98. Now, in order to do this, you have to make sure you have an internet connection that is not dial-up. Also, you have to make sure your sound card is working, or else you won't be able to hear anything. So, if you got all of that sorted out, the first thing you need to do is actually go to Internet Explorer. Click No, if you have another browser. But that's actually what we're going to do. If you don't have something besides Internet Explorer, what you're first going to have to do is search for Firefox. Actually, first stop, don't even go down a set. Go to Google. You're going to open up Internet Explorer, and then you're going to search Firefox for Windows 98. Then, you're going to go to oldapps.com. This is the version you want, because they have a bunch of, obviously, old apps for old operating systems. Now, it might not run very well, but usually... Find a download. Ah, here it is. We're going to download Firefox 2.0.0.20, and click the little download link right here. Be patient. And then... You will click run this program from its current location and press OK. Wait for it to download. Click yes. Click next. Accept the terms and conditions without reading them because it's outdated. Standard. Next. And then finish and make sure it will launch. Okay, perfect. Click no. What we're going to do next is close out Internet Explorer because we do not need it anymore. But we are going to use Firefox and actually download in our internet browser because Firefox is actually not enough. So what we're going to type in is Opera for Windows 98. And then also go to oldapps.com. This time it should be a little less messed up and you can see everything. Uh, the version you're going to need to download is Opera 10.10. .10 which was released on November 2009. Click the download link right here. Wait for it to do its thing. Click save file. Wait for it to download. Faster than dial up. and click open. Press OK. Press OK again. Make sure it's English or whatever language you speak. So install. Okay. Start setup. I accept. Click standard. Click install. And then press finish. And it will make sure this is checked. Run offer when I press finish. Perfect. Now you have Opera and Firefox. So you may be wondering, why do I need Opera and Firefox? Well, even though Opera is newer and better than this version of Firefox, um, certain websites won't load, and it's also glitchier than Firefox. Firefox has more of an outdated look to it, but it can also load more websites than Opera sometimes. And when it can't run something, Opera will be able to run it. So we're going to need both in order to do this. Okay, now to get to the fun stuff. We have to go to Adobe's archives in order to get Flash Player. Yes, this is before HTML5, so we actually have to get a Flash Player. What you're going to do next is go to Google. You're going to type in uh, Flash Player archives. Because I'm lazy, I'm not going to type that in. You're going to click here. And this will load a little bit but here's the thing it doesn't load very well in opera this is where firefox comes in you're going to go over to firefox and type in this link you're going to copy it from opera obviously and it will actually load um properly in firefox even though it will have more of an outdated look it won't be black with just the search bar right there which doesn't make any sense kind of glitchy so now that we're on firefox and the page is loaded you're going to scroll down here. Notice how Flash Player 9 says Windows 98. This is the version we want. Scroll down. It takes a little while, so you might as well grab this thing. 
scroll down or even middle click yes windows 98 actually had middle click amazing ah yes okay so you're going to download flash player 9.0.28 and higher click that click save to disk once that stops being stupid okay so you downloaded that we're not done here though unfortunately we're also going to have to get a copy of winzip because all the files are in a zip file and windows 98 does not natively support zip files so winzip oops winzip for windows 98 perfect go to old apps once again wait for it to load and click WinZip 9.0. Even though it was released in 2004, it will work perfectly fine. The format has not really changed, apparently, in the last couple of years. In a minute. And the download should start automatically. Click Run, not Save, so it will run automatically. Wait for it to download. When it's done downloading, click Setup. Press OK. Click Next. Click Yes. Click Next. Click next and make sure this is checked. WinZip Classic. Stress set setup. Click next. Next. Finish. Boom. After WinZip is done installing, you are going to go over to Firefox again. Click this little tab right here and click Mozilla Firefox. Or click the icon on your desktop. Click no, because we don't want it to become the default browser. Click tools, downloads, and click open. Use a validation version because we don't want to buy it, especially on a really old piece of software. Click extract, then do my documents. Ignore this, I have already extracted it, so let's just go overwrite it. Okay, close out all this, go to my documents on the desktop, double click. Go to this folder with a bunch of gibberish, it says archive at the end. Click the 9R280 and click flash player this one right here click that one you're also going to click the one up here don't click this one this one glitches out close close this out now go back to opera and hopefully if everything goes to plan you should be able to watch youtube videos And if your sound card is working, you should be able to hear the audio too. What video should we look up? Huh. Let's look at my channel, because I feel like browsing my channel on Windows 98. Give it a minute. This is Eat Your Sheep, and I'm here to talk about my Nintendo Switch pre-order worth worth it. As you can see, it works perfectly fine with audio and everything. I'm going to mute it because I want to talk. But anyways, um, all the icons are hidden, but if you hover your mouse, you'll be able to see it. Apparently, subtitles doesn't work very well. You can click settings and change the quality sometimes. It doesn't always work, but the max I've gotten it to is 720p, and it has no lag. Um, I am running this on a virtual machine with 512 megabytes of RAM, and I think the max processor speed for Windows 98 is 2.1 gigahertz, so it'll run fine with those settings. I have not tried this on a native Windows 98 machine, but I bet it would work perfectly fine, maybe a little more laggy. But as you can see, it's working perfectly fine. I can scrub the video, pause it. You can even log into YouTube. Anyways, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe. I don't need to subscribe because I'm the channel creator. But uh, le leave a comment if you want to know anything about this video. I will leave links in the description for all the downloads. But I would just follow along with the video because it's very hard to uh, copy links from a YouTube video into, for, uh, for example, like a native machine or a virtual machine. I hope you have fun watching YouTube on 
um, an almost 20-year-old operating system. Bye.